we're gonna here we go we're here we go here we go i don't know what anybody <laughs> in the NCAA's obsession with is with auburn playing clemson they're tired of it we're tired of it everybody's tired of it it it's just beating the dead tiger over and over and over We've been talking a lot of diamond sports lately, a lot of baseball though, and we're not done with that. Plenty still to talk about. But softball takes not center field, but center stage right here in our first big segment of the night. We obviously just got done with the SEC tournament and Auburn came in there really hot. Uh, Number three seed overall, double by. Obviously, we want to spend just a little bit of time talking about that and then move on to where they have now been seated and talk about what it looks like for them going forward. But SEC tournament was really fun. Uh, enjoyed this week um, tuning in and uh, watching not just them at times, but the SEC softball. I think people forget how good SEC softball is and mm. uh, how talented they are. Uh, not, you know, I, I have no problems even saying there's pretty talented <laughs> softball players on the Alabama team. That's kind of usually their history there but i think a lot of people were surprised by the fact that auburn's opponent it, we'll get there actually so let me give your opening thoughts about the team and uh, how they performed in the sec tournament you take that wherever you want to even if it's the the last game sure yeah i mean uh, you know end up playing old miss and uh in a wild back and forth game and end up winning yeah in the first round, good good game for both teams, and uh, Auburn fortunate to come out on top, and then get to play, you know, the Cinderella story of South Carolina, who's, um, you know, come into the into the picture here as a, I think they were the 11 seed. Is that right, Kyle? 11, uh, they seed? were. It, it's confusing because if you look at the uh, the 10 seed, now I've got it uh, fixed on my seed. screen. Uh, Ole Miss was the 11. Yeah. Yes, that's that's um, why that got a little confusing there. But 10 seed overall. The 10 seed and. Uh, and just loses on a heartbreaker, um, you know, some, I don't want to say questionable decisions because I think coach Mickey Dean was, was thinking to have Matty Pinto lined up for the championship, which, you know, you want to end up doing that, but get there is first is also the other side of that argument. And so, um, anyway, just lost on a heartbreaker, really unfortunate, um, for that Auburn team to kind of, uh, falter in that way but um a good good game by the south carolina and uh to and to have them go on a little bit of a cinderella run through the sec tournament um, yeah you know i think we're going to get into seeding here in a minute but um not sure how much that really affected them uh, i think this auburn team was hot i think a lot of people were hoping that they would host as well um i, I was could <laughs> argue they should have um i think that once we look at we'll just go ahead and get into it once we see the seeding uh, I think they got jobbed, um, truthfully. Uh, I, d- I don't think that they should be the highest two going to Clemson. And then if you win the Clemson Regional, which, of course, who needs another Auburn-Clemson matchup in any sport? Right. Uh, um, but us, us going to Clemson and then, you know, you win that. Oh, what do you get to go do as a super regional at Oklahoma? Um, so right. just messed up. There's a lot of things with that bracket that aren't right. Um, people are going to hear this and think it's beating a dead horse because it's Alabama, but Alabama was the fifth seed in the SEC tournament. And now you're telling me they're the fifth overall seed in the country and hosting a regional. I don't understand that. But uh, right. Auburn, the facts are Auburn had 15 SEC wins, and they're going to be the first team in over 10 years from the SEC to not get to host a regional with 15 wins. Um, that doesn't make any sense. And so I, I, I think there's a lot of issues with the bracket this year, but – that's the way the cards are dealt. Auburn's going to have to go up to Clemson for the 4,380th time and go and try and win that regional and um, and then advance on to play Oklahoma. So and for a chance to go to Oklahoma City. So we'll uh, it'll be good. This team's ready for it. Matty Penta is the kind of ace you need in these in this late in the season. So um, it'll be fun to watch. Can I point out though? Yes, Auburn got jobbed in the seating, but. It kind of works out if you do win the Clemson bracket, which in in that sense, probably uh, maybe we can debate it here in a second. If you want to be a number, the last number hosting, number one hosting seed or uh, however you say it, the 16th seed overall, sure. uh, which yeah. means you would be the least of those hosting teams. Or do you want to be the nu- the best number two seed to be in the w- with the weakest number one hosting seat, whatever you call it. Um, you could have that argument there. But if Auburn does this 
maybe how they're capable of doing it, maybe surprising people taking the Clemson regional and pulls the unthinkable and beats Oklahoma. You're already out in Oklahoma. Just stay out there for Oklahoma City. I mean, travel arrangements, you know, that's going to be pretty good, <laughs> wouldn't you think? <laughs> It'd be very... Yeah, logistically, uh, it, it works, I guess. It, it would be advantageous, but not obviously how you got there. You mentioned South Carolina, obviously making it all the way through uh, to the championship game and not a bad, you know, ending game. They are losing uh, one to three to the number one overall seed Tennessee, which is, I think, how most people expected this thing to end out. Do you think if Auburn makes the championship game, they're a hosting team for the NCAAs? Um, I would like to think that that would matter after seeing the entire bracket and other decisions. I don't know, um, yeah. but I, I would like to think that that would have mattered um, you know, maybe they thought that, I, I don't know. I, it's, it's hard for me to say that winning against a lowly South Carolina team just to get in the SEC championship would make it enough for this, the committee to view Auburn as a host, but right um, over Clemson, I guess would be who, so I don't know, but I think they should have been a host regardless. And that I'm trying to take my orange and blue glasses off for that, but <laughs> apparently well, only orange and purple is the move instead. <laughs> Okay, let's let's talk about that. I don't care if it's this situation. It, it happens in this situation a lot, probably softball, but I, I'm just tired of playing Clemson overall. Wasn't it last cool. year? What, yes. did we go to Clemson last year? I, I mean, yeah, I don't know what anybody in, in – we're going to – here we go. We're, here we go. Here we go. I don't know what anybody <laughs> in the NCAA's obsession with is with Auburn playing Clemson. Like Can, They love cannibalism. They, That's what it is. They're tired of it. We're tired of it. Everybody's tired of it. It. It's just beating the dead tiger over and over and over. <laughs> uh, literally, but the, the beating is being done by each other. And uh, yeah, yeah, I I would love to not see our, uh, some would say, sister school uh, as often as we do in things. It is a very convenient travel arrangement. I, I remember it was last year because I was trying to figure out if I could justify going to a few games last year. And unfortunately, it won't happen this year either, it looks like. But because uh, I'm not, but two, two and a half hours away from that. But either way, you know, if you look at it, you can kind of look at the good. It's not a bad travel situation if you're thinking about going up there. But we'd like to A, have a different opponent, B, not be in the Oklahoma region. We've already played Oklahoma this this season, and you saw how it mm. went. Oklahoma's just dominant. We know this. We, we were in the championship game with them. What was that like six years ago now? Yeah, yeah. Some time has passed. Years, maybe seven, yeah. So it's just a little bit frustrating. But um, this team is mainly still hot right now in terms of how they've been playing. You've got a pitcher like Maddie Pinta. And, and you brought up whether or not she should or should not have been played in that final game. I, I tended to agree with the decision to not play her in that if you could. You know, she had even admitted and in an interview had said like she had not thrown her best stuff in a few of her appearances. So you don't know how that like would have played out. Yeah, she's your ace, but maybe she'd been used too much and needed a little bit of rest. So I don't necessarily fault uh, the decision by that because I do think we saw where we were heading, who we were about to run into in Tennessee, and we got to have our best ready there. And you, you would like to think there's not that big a drop off. And usually there's not uh, when Maddie's not in there. And, um, yeah, it, sometimes it just doesn't bounce your way. But the most it, the most frustrating part about this is not the loss there. It's where we got seated overall. So, I guess just to kind of round this subject out, prediction time, do you see them making it out of the Clemson Regional? Yeah, I, I think they will make it out of the Clemson Regional. Um, I okay. think they'll, they'll have to upset Clemson, I guess, once or twice. But I, I think they will make it out of the Clemson Regional. And then the last question. Can they, if that happens, if they take care of what we think they're capable of at Clemson, can they get past Oklahoma and just stay out in Oklahoma for the rest of the time? Can, can they? Sure. That's why you play the game, but I, I don't think <laughs> it's going to happen. I, I think Oklahoma is probably where the, their, their season will end and, and no one can blame them for that. But, yeah. um, you know, I think, and I, I'm not really sure it would matter much if they were a host, as much as I want to say I wish Auburn was hosting. They're probably are in that 16 range going to play Oklahoma anyway. So, um, yeah. you know, the, the, uh, there is the off chance here that Oklahoma is upset and Auburn gets to host a super regional. So that we is can right. hope for that. 
That is absolutely right. And I'll be honest with you, you know, the biggest travesty for me in this is what an awesome weekend it would have been in Auburn upcoming. If yeah, softball's yeah. hosting, baseball's here for their last SEC series at home. And, you know, that's just a great way. Even with school being done and mostly the campus emptied, emptied out now, that would have been a fun weekend to have here. Uh, at, not for me, obviously, because we continue to remind that you're in Auburn. I'm not. Um, but you would have gotten to experience that, and I would have been super, super jealous. So either way, very proud so far of what softball has accomplished. Tough road ahead of them, but we've seen them uh, you know, surprise a lot of people this year, and uh, we'll hope that they'll continue to do that. 